This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. What's up, baby? <laughs> you already know who it is. <laughs> It's the Balenciaga bust down bandit himself. I'm talking about I'm coming through out of every Cartier crevice and crack <laughs> that you can even imagine out of that Moschino mind. I'm talking about dig deep into the Tom Ford thoughts <laughs> of the cerebral cortex and pull forth any Issei Miyake ideas that you may have about even a Ferragamo fraction. <laughs> Bro. Of what could be the Falcon himself, the Platinum Prince of Persia, the bust down Crash Bandicoot <laughs> on the last level with the Neiman Marcus Nitrous exploding around. So you got to get in a Gucci go, go yard go kart to, to get away. <laughs> I'm talking about you on your last life. Your mama told you you cannot plug in the PS1, the one that ran off of the AAA Armani batteries, and you need to beat this level. That's the type of intensity that you're dealing with when you fucking with your Balenciaga boy himself. I'm speechless. Chef. Wow. God damn. Motherfucker weeks. Louboutin That's Luke Slidewalker. <laughs> worth every penny. God damn. Louboutin Luke Skywalker. You're a professional. And I'm on the only podcast that matters. Hell Wop yeah. Dad. <laughs> As you might be aware. Yeah, but you're probably not, not sure if you listen to this podcast or not. The three main subjects. I do now. Yeah. Of this podcast. I've listened to you niggas for like hours. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> like a loyal fan. In this world. Hell yeah. That's how we get them. <laughs> the three main subjects of this podcast are money. ka <gasps> Dang. I don't need, I didn't even understand that word. Dad ass. Dad ass. Sucking uh, and fucking. Clapping cheeks, fapping meats. You already know what the fuck and going on. I do that every day. Yeah. Most importantly. Yeah. I literally jacked off twice since I got to New York. <laughs> really? Weird flex, but okay. Yeah. I got here 5 a.m. I met you guys at 7. <laughs> and I jacked off twice. <laughs> So that's, uh, so that's, you, you that's flew one in and boy, are your arms tired. <laughs> that's oh, one nut. And I've been working. We was working shoulders with my trainer before I got here. So imagine the type of strife I went through to get that nut. God How's damn. the hotel Wi-Fi? Can the hotel it was, Wi-Fi the, it was almost an existential nut because I didn't think that I could do it. But the nut was, was bigger cri- than me. It was a crisis of conscience. Yes, the nut was way more important to me. It was I heart uh, nut a beast. <laughs> I heart nut a beast. It's a good title for the episode. <laughs> The third topic yeah. is the most important topic, and yeah. that is ourselves. The goddamn Jimmy, motherfucking boys. Larry, the boys. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to start off with uh, the most important topic yeah. first, which is ourselves. That's us. Um, That's us. So contrary to popular belief, you floated into our DMs. Though that was Sam. As was it we, Sam? Yeah, oh, yeah. So you, you should have been just it wasn't. Is that what happened? Is that how this got put together? Wait, so your yeah. manager has access to your IG? Yeah. I, I don't know. I always tell him, I don't know how he deal with it. Does he, do you ever catch him? Because you know how like on IG, read receipts are on all the time. Do you ever uh-huh. catch him looking at like your nudes, nudes that, that, nudes that were meant for you? Nah. Sam? It, it don't no? ever go that far. Okay. Right, right, Sam's right. a married man. Yeah, yeah, Sam's right. And right. He's, you got to respect the sanctity wife, so. of the it institution It don't ever go that far. Like right. if, he, if he do some thirsty shit, like he, it's his wife and we <laughs> sure. are jogging and she like, look at that ass. And then he looks at it type shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Teamwork yeah. make the dream work. Teamwork made the That's how Sam work. Sam does move on some business relationships on my behalf. Oh, mm. good. Which I Which is, this is a business relation. This is a business relationship. Yeah, right I now. mean, but. L- Transactional. L- like, literally, if I would have seen the DM, I would have replied and start talking on sure. my own behalf. Right. Yeah. He usually just, like, kicks it off. And I know he did it because I didn't do of it. Of course, right. My assistant also has access to my Damn. DMs, but he's not allowed to open anything I don't got tell it, him. Got yeah. it, got he it, got He can only open things from verified accounts that are Obviously, brands sure. or Artists. influencers oh, okay. reaching out about business. Oh, so you've set you've set boundaries and parameters for what can clearly and can't be because done. I don't want my assistant looking at my dick. I've I've, <laughs> I've try shoot them shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You do. You put He's those shots up. You're, it, though, no? you're a high volume shooter. Yes, yeah. shooter shoot definitely. Yeah. yeah. 
High um, volume with high return. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peep the batting average. Yeah. Speaking of DMs, though, you and Drake made a bet mm-hmm. on Instagram. Yes. Right. You famously lost when the when the Warriors sadly lost to the Raptors uh, in the NBA finals, and you had to wear a Raptor costume while walking the Golden Gate Bridge. First of all, I just want to say this: you were literally walking the road. You weren't on like the pedestrian pathway. Yeah. You're like on the you fucking did, you road. Did it right. I was on the. Br- First of all, I'm a man of my word. I told Absolutely. y'all this. Yeah. Yeah. I honor all bets, all commitments, <laughs> everything of that nature. Man's got to have a code. Yeah. And I wanted to bet Drake regardless. And I was in a DM group chat with like my current like digital marketing guy, <laughs> shout out 740 Project, and <laughs> my manager, Sam. And we were trying to figure out just different ways to like promote me. Sure. And I already wanted to bet Drake. I, I believe I brought it up to Sam. He was like, Bet Drake the Warriors win, and I was like, "All right, I'm a bet him promo the album." Like it was literally like a a group thing. Sure, sure, sure. And I followed up with it. And Drake's a bet guy. He's an eco guy. I knew he was gonna bite. Yeah, I knew he was gonna he, bite he took, regardless. He took I, the bait. I was gonna bet him regardless, and then it became like a career thing to do, right. and he did it. And I forever respect him for it because I lost the bet, and he still honored. What were, what were his the terms of the bet? Yeah, what, what the bet? was he? If he, he one, I would have to stand. So I just opted to stand on the Bay Bridge in, uh, in a Raptor costume. Right. right. And he said I would have to stand on the Bay Bridge in a Raptor costume with a sign that said Drake plus Kawhi beat the Bay. He so, put it in quotation so I know that's what sure, he wanted sure, me to sure, write. Sure. So Drake thinks that Drake beat, <laughs> the, beat the, the Golden Bay. State Warriors? Yeah. <laughs> did he not? Yeah, true. I mean, he was, so, he was celebrating like he did, I'll tell you because, that much. Because if they would have lost, they would have blamed it on Drake. Probably. True. Not look even at, probably. Look what we made. Look what we built out here. No, that? no, like prob- not probably. I want the chips with the DM. For sure. <laughs> they would have did it. Yeah. They would have said it was the Drake curse. Right. Sure, oh, sure. Right, right, yeah, right yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It was a whole They would have thrown him under the every, fucking bus. Every other whatever team that lost, it would have yeah. been Drake's fault. They would have crushed the big So, scorpion. of course, if no he chip, won... No yeah. Why not take the chips with the dip? Sure. Because I, as an avid tortilla chip buyer, <laughs> would love if the salsa was included. What's, right, your, right. what's your dip? Of, what dip are you fucking with? Tostitos? I like, I, I like the Tostito scoops, yes. Okay. Hint of lime or? No. I've been making my own dip, to be honest. Oh, really? I, I'm, I, I just started avidly cooking about a year and a half ago. Fire. And I That's have good for you, man. the greatest habanero mango Ooh. salsa Ooh. recipe. Ooh, spicy. Hello. Are you, are you a spice guy? Spice yeah, I'm a, I'm a big spice guy. Gotta get you on hot water. I'm a huge, if y'all could put that together, I was on a plane with that nigga the other day. That I, beautiful bald bitch, Sean, Sean Evans? Evans? That's yeah. our fucking boy. No, that I was on a plane bitch. with Sean. I just didn't say nothing to him. Oh, you were, sh- were you were shook? Or no, you, you didn't want to fan out, or I, what was? The... I like let, I like minding my own business for right, one. Okay, I'm as fair. a budding celebrity, yeah, yeah yourself, and, yeah, you get like an entry level celebrity because because the internet people, it's too, there's levels. Feel like I'm shit. more approachable. Sure, sure, sure. I like to respect people's personal space. Right. I seen a nigga he in first class. <laughs> like, I'm Word? Right, no, he in first class. I'm right behind him. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna let him do him. Sure. We just, I just sent. His company paperwork to pay us money for yeah, promoting we did, their we hot did sauce. Some, we did some ad reads for them because he's the for one. Friend. I want some of that hot sauce. Also, yeah, shout out to John Bushimi and the Truffle Hot Sauce. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. Shimmy good. Big. Truff. They, they, I got Big Truff at the house. John Bushimi, the loud pack. I'm putting it on every. It's, it's delicious. Actually, outside of shit, I ain't gonna say it on the mic because like they ain't pay me nothing. No, yeah. yeah. Mm. I put it. I put on my breakfast sandwich this morning. I love that shit, dude. I'm shameless, bro. I love that. Bro, shit. That's what I've been <laughs> doing is putting on the breakfast shit. Like it's a. It's a like a. Like a vegan mm. breakfast spot down the hill from me because I live up. near Calabasas, so of it's course, all Cali- yeah, yeah. restaurants, you know. Yeah. And Salads. It yeah. goes on every fucking. I have to pee again. Here's the million dollar question, Guap. If the if the Warriors had won, what was Drake gonna do for you? The terms, his terms. Yeah, what were the terms? So, I Drake had to promo my new song Flossing along with my album, which Dior by Deposits. the way, slap. Yes. Slap. Flossin Wap. is a fan favorite. Hell yeah. It is not a commercial success. It's but a cult if you classic. Are a, exactly. If you're Fuck a Guapdad fan, you love Flossin. If you want this man to whip the sauce to get lost in, then Lil Mama, you should be Flossin. Exactly. And that's fucking facts, Jack. Hey, it's 100% facts. It's a check. <laughs> so what was he going to have to do? That to was very it? close to me. Can you do one? Can we get one? It's a check. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> 